Hey folks, Solo Gamer here, and as you can see, we're playing another Tournament of Champions of Talisman. And this time we've added the Highlands board to the mix. Now the Highlands board you get there from the Craigs. And it's basically the same as the uh, dungeon board, really. You go through it, and you get to the end, you can fight the Eagle King. Now, we're going to modify this. It, the only way to get to the portal of power and go inside is you got to defeat the Eagle King. If you don't defeat him, well, yeah, you go somewhere else. But the Eagle King is not as strong as the, um, the Dungeon Lord was. So he's a little easier, and the Highlands board is a little easier in all in general than the dungeon board was and of course as you know remember <clears throat> we play this going clockwise and it's the same applies to the highland board and last man standing wins and we randomly picked a alternate ending here from the highland board and so let's see our contestants our first one is going to be a doom slayer this is his little figure here huh he's neutral he starts in the city so let's put him in the city Okay, it comes with three strength, four craft. Special abilities, when any, whenever any character draws an enemy, you may replenish one fate. Whenever any character draws an event, you may gain one spell, if your craft allows. And when you draw an adventure card that is not an enemy or an event, you may draw one additional card. You may only do this once per turn. Four life, one gold, and three fate. Then we have our druid. Here. Yeah, yeah he starts in the forest. So we'll put him right here in the forest. Two strength, four craft. You begin the game with one spell, and we, he got a feeble mind spell. Four fate, one gold, four life. You may change your alignment at will at any given time, though you can only be of one of alignment. For example, if you are carrying the rune sword and you wish to pray at the chapel, you must ditch the rune sword. Whenever you land on the woods, you may gain your full complement of spells according to your craft. Okay. And next is the Dread Knight. Now, he's one of the coolest figures in this freaking game right here. I love him, boy. He looks... Damn, he looks badass. And he starts at the graveyard. Because, you know, he's right off the bat evil while the other two are neutral. And he has two strength and three... Two strength? What? How in the hell is this guy not more strong? Guy looks like a badass. I mean, shit, look at him. Two strength? You mean this freaking freak right here is... God, this just doesn't make no sense. Okay, never mind. Three craft. He begins the game with a war horse from the stables deck, in which he does have the war horse, and you can add your craft value to your strength battle during battle. Jeez, I guess that's why they lowered his the strength. Whenever you kill an enemy, you may gain one spell if your craft allows. He has one fate, one gold, and four life. <laughs> one, two strength. Okay. Alright, so let's get started, and the Dread Knight will go first. And he rolls a 2, 1, 2, he draws a card. And this is Holy Water. No evil character may have the Holy Water. Okay, well that's him. Alright, Druid, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. He is neutral. Well, he don't need to replenish anything, so okay. And now the Doom Slayer. He goes here, draws one card. Hearth Ruin. Instead of your normal moves, you may teleport to your start space. You must then ditch the Hearth Ruin in the space that you moved from. Hmm. Okay. Oh, and I'd like to say that we do have some new cards here. We have the Highland cards. And we have the these cards right here. If you beat the Eagle King, you get one of these relics. Okay, so Dread Knight. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Woods. Will of Fate. The Will of Fate will remain here for the rest of the game. Roll one die to spend the Will of Fate. Okay. Roll the four. Repl gain one fate. Okay, so he'll gain one fate. The Druid. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The Craigs. He will roll one die. He rolls a six. He gains one strength. Okay. All right. And now the Doom Slayer. One, two, three, four, five, six. He goes to the fields and draws one card. Ragnarok. The final destiny of the gods has arrived. Discard all face-up enemies, places, and strangers in all regions. 
Well, that's going to be the those. Okay. So let's place your bets. We've done a couple turns. Wonder who's going to win. Now, I'm rooting for the Dreadnought. I really think he might win, but and move on to the next round. But place your bets. See what we can do. And let's go to Dread Knight. He rolls a four. One, two, three, four. He draws one card. Two bags of gold. So he gets two bags of gold. Okay. Alright, Druid. Five. One, two, three, four, five. He draws one card. Hate monger. Roll one die for each of your followers. Okay, well, I don't have any followers, so. That won't work. And the Doom Slayer. Three. One, two, three. He goes to the graveyard. And he don't need to replenish any fate. Two. One, two. The Woods. The Bride. The Bride will become your follower if you discard one of your trophies. Uh, she's not going to. I don't have any trophies, so. Okay. Druid. One. Werewolf. One of your followers is a werewolf. Okay, well, I don't he doesn't have a follower, so geez. One, two, three, four. He goes to the chapel. Heal up to your life value. Well, he's already fully healed. Dread Knight. One. He draws a card. Event. Choose another character in any region and teleport to that character's space. You must then encounter that character. You cannot choose to encounter the space instead. Okay, so that's what we'll do, and he will attack the druid probably. He will go here and attack the druid, and fight him. Okay, so four plus two, six plus three is nine. Six plus three is nine. It's a standoff. So we have a standoff. Okay. So it's a druid's turn. <clears throat> he draws two cards. Weapon. Fate Sealer. Add one to your strength during battle. Okay, and this right here is the arena. You may summon one character in this region to fight. Well, he don't like the Dread Knight attacking him, so he's going to summon him to fight. All right, so let's fight. Four, three is seven. Two and two is four plus three is seven. It's another standoff. Two, one, two. He goes to the Craig's. Although, he couldn't spend a fate token and roll again, which is what he's going to do. Oh, that was worse. That's a <laughs> He loses one life, the druid does. No, he doesn't. It's a standoff. No, he would have won then. Okay. So he actually would have won. He would have beat that guy. Because he has his faith sealer. I forgot about that. Add one to your strength during battle. Okay, so he gains a fate. So he never really had to spend that fate. So he gains that fate. And he loses one life. Alright, he's over here at the Craig's. He rolls a two. Lost. Lose your next turn. One, two, three. Draw one card. A haunt. If you do not defeat the haunt, you must take it as a follower. Okay, well, this has a craft of two. He has a craft of three. We stand off, but he does beat it. It's, I mean, one's each, and he does beat it because he has a higher craft. All right, the druid. One, two. He goes to the forest. And he gets a card. City of Shadows. If it's day, no, we can't use that. That's a time card here. Talisman. Woo, he got his talisman. Okay, he lost his turn. Four. One, two, three, four. The Woods. Psychic Crystal. Add one to your craft during psychic combat. And you will. One, two, three, four. The Graveyard. He's neutral. Now the Doom Slayer, five. One, two, three, four, five. He draws one card. 
Draw reveal four requests uh, when you move the tile. Spin one off four. Okay, we don't have have quest cards in this one. Three, one, two, three. He goes to the chapel. He is evil, so he will lose one life, and he's down to two. One, two, three, four, and he's going to attack him. Ooh, he beats him. The Dread Knight's going to spend a fate. Oh, six and six. So, six plus two is eight. Plus four is twelve. Six plus four is twelve. It's a standoff. So, it's a good thing he did spend that fate. The Doom Slayer here. He goes to the tavern. Six to the temple. You know what? I've been it draws an event. Okay, I've been forgetting to do that. So let's draw a couple spells here. Enrich. Event. Two, three. Okay, so three. So he got three spells. Okay, he's gonna roll two gold. So he gets rid of that one. Okay, so we kind of got him caught back up. I've been forgetting about that. This guy's got a lot of crap to keep up with. Huh. Okay. I remember that. All right. One, two, three, four. He goes to the ruins. Riding horse. Okay, here's another horse. The druid. One. Go to the fields. Magic object. No good or evil character may have the staff of balance. Well, he is neutral, so add one to your strength and add one to your craft. All right, so he's got three objects. Doom Slayer here. Three, one, two, three. Draw one card. Object. Okay, he may draw an additional object. Okay. Okay, wooden stake he'll take. And the Orb of Destiny. It's not that handy, that Orb of Destiny thing. Okay, two, one, two. He goes to the city and he's going to heal. So, he's going to pay two gold to heal his life back. The druid, two, one, two, draws a card. He gets a sword. Okay, well, he can't have that. So, it goes right here. Five, one, two, three, four, five. He's at the graveyard. His fate's good. Five. He goes here to the plains. Sword of Truth. No evil character may have the Sword of Truth. Okay. Druid. Three. One, two, three. He goes to the city. Druid's got full life, so he'll go see the... Uh, oh, six. Let's see. He gets... Gain one spell, which he will do. He gains a misdirection spell. Okay. One. He draws a card. And this is an enemy. Has a lion. All right. Ooh, he beats that. So he gets to keep that as a trophy. All right. Four. One, two, three, four. Bag of gold. So he gains another gold. And the druid, one. He goes to the fields. Wooden stake. That's another object. He cannot carry any more objects. So that goes there. And the doom slayer. One, two, three. He goes to the chapel. It's neutral. And two, one, two. 
important. All characters, no matter what region they're in, may accept a warlock's quest. Okay. That's an event. He goes to the tavern. Two. He has to fight a strength farmer with the strength of three. He beats him. And now the Doom Slayer. Two. The Craigs. Three. Lose your next turn. One, two, three, four, five. He can't have the holy water. Let's go to the mystic. And become evil. He doesn't want to become evil, so he will spend a fate to re-roll that. Six. Gain one spell. Okay, so he will gain a lightning bolt spell. That ought to help. Doom Slayer lost his turn. Four. One, two, three, four. And he's going to attack him. Ooh, he beat him. Let him spend a fate, though, to see if he can do a little bit better. Okay, so they're tied. But he wins because he can add that. Six and three, yeah. So he loses a life. So he lost a life. Okay. Four. One, two, three, four. The holy water. Shoot. Well, he can't carry it. He's carrying his full. If I did one. Alright, so we rolled a three. One, two, three. Bag of gold. He gets a bag of gold. Okay. Jeez. Alright. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, he can have the wood stake. One, two, three. Object. You may place one object in this car, in this card. Neither the power count towards your object limit. Okay, that's good because we're gonna have this. And he can carry one additional object now. Three. One, two, three. Enemy goblin. Ooh, six plus two is eight. Four plus three is seven. Yeesh. Okay, he's going to discard this wooden stake. And he beats this goblin then. Jeez. All right. One, two, three. He draws a card. A wraith. All right. Okay, well, that was awful. So he's going to have to spend a fate there because that just ain't going to work. All right, five and three is eight. Plus one is nine. But he has a wooden stake too. Six plus five is eleven. Okay, but if he did this, his roll would automatically be a six. So six plus three is nine. Ten. He still lost. So he lost. So ain't no point in losing that. That guy rolled a six, so he lost. He loses one life. All right. The druid. Draws one card. Event. If you are neutral alignment, gain one strength. Okay, so he gained one strength, and now the doom slayer... One, two, three, four. He's at the tavern. He rolls a four, win one gold. So he wins a gold. And we'll end it here. And we'll come back next turn and keep playing. So far, unlike the other games, we haven't lost anybody the first round, which is a good sign. So I'll see you then.